I just want to start by telling my beautiful daughter how amazed I, I've been today at the amount of complete strangers that have come up to me and told me how proud I should be of my dear. Right. First of all, my wife and I. <laughs> would like to thank everyone for making it today. Um, it means the world to us to have all our friends and family from far and wide all in one room together. Born in the Cayman Islands 27 years ago, watching her grow up and develop was, was just a privilege. She was so easy to deal with. Um, and I take parenting skills very seriously, as I'm sure most of us should do. And the most difficult job that I thought I had in my life was being a father. Never mind about promotion in, in your professional field. Maggie made the most important job in my life the easiest one to undertake because of her personality, her character, and her friendship. Dom in Cardiff. There's Joe. First met Dom in Cardiff. Um, um, Maggie was moving out of student house. I'd driven down in a beat up van because she told me to. There's a lot of furniture I had to take back up to North Wales. That was a very interesting weekend, the first uh, weekend I met Dom. Um, I can remember holding him on the bed. <laughs> yeah, that turned around, didn't it? And he was so hard. today to celebrate the marriage of Dominic and Maggie and it's on their behalf that I welcome you all. I know that it means a great deal to them both that you can be here to share in their happiness on this special occasion. about giving and taking, and forgiving and forsaking, kissing and loving and pushing and shoving, caring and sharing and screaming and swearing, about being together whatever the weather, about being driven to the end of your tether, about sweetness and kindness and wisdom and blindness. It's about being strong when you're feeling quite weak. It's about saying nothing when you're dying to speak. It's about being wrong when you know you were right. It's about giving in before there's a fight. It's about you two living as cheaply as one. You can give us a call if you know how that's done. <laughs> 
Never heeding advice that was always well meant. Never counting the cost until it's all spent. And beauty today is about to begin and for all the two of you had to put in. Some days filled with joy and some days with sadness. Too late soon you'll discover that marriage is not. I, Dominic Edward Gape. Take you, Maggie Veronica Enid Williams. Take you, Maggie Veronica Enid Williams. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. Dom, I pledge that from this day. I will love you. I will love you. Comfort and encourage you. Comfort and encourage you. Honour and respect you. Honour and respect you. And be faithful, honest and devoted to you. And be faithful, honest and devoted to you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Give you this ring as a symbol of my love and commitment to you. As a symbol of my love and commitment to you. Wear it with love. Wear it with love. And as a sign of all we've promised. And as a sign of all we have promised. And done this day. And done this day. So Dominic and Maggie, you have both made the declarations and vows required by law in the presence of these witnesses, your family and friends, and I'm delighted to announce that you are now legally married and you may share your first kiss as husband and wife. Mum, you're one in a million, you're a real diamond, and I know everyone says I'm the baby and I'm spoiled and I deny it, but it's probably, it's probably true. Um, you're an amazing cook and I'm pretty sure that's why most of my friends like me. <laughs> Whenever you cooked for the boys, there was never any food left, much to Dad's dismay. You've devoted your life to make sure that me and my brothers and sisters have had a happy home and you know, you've always looked after us and I thank you for that. <laughs> I was going to stop talking when you started crying, but I wouldn't have got through the first sentence. <laughs> I love you, Mum. My wife, the most beautiful woman I've ever laid eyes on. First of all, apologies, Maggie Gape doesn't quite have the same ring to it as Maggie Williams. But I'm sure we'll get past that. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but you are now officially my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> I'm going to read, because I don't want to miss anything out. <laughs> Maggie, I can't believe how stunning you look today. I feel the luckiest man in the world right now. I often pinch myself when I wake up next to you in the morning. You make me feel safe. We've always told each other that no matter what happens to us in life, we'll always be OK. And that's because we've got each other, and I really believe that. I've had the most incredible six years with you, and I still feel like this is only the beginning. 
Who would have known that that small decision to meet up would have led to this? Fair to say, one of the best decisions I've ever made. One of your many strengths is your caring personality and you often put everyone else before yourself. You have a heart of gold, Mags. You have already given me the greatest gift in our life, our daughter Mia. I didn't think I could love you anymore until I seen you with Mia in your arms. As my dreams have come true today, unfortunately one of yours hasn't. I can now confirm you're not marrying Jake Gillinghall. <laughs> you're stuck with me. <laughs> I can't wait to carry on attacking life with you and Mia and the dogs. But now, as a married couple, I'd like to say I love you. And I, could everyone raise a toast to Mrs. Gabe? Mrs. Gabe. Mr. and Mrs. Gabe. Maggie, tonight you look absolutely stunning, my darling. <laughs> Dom's a very lucky man to have you. I knew she was a special girl the first time I ever met her because I'm a big lad and she cooked an amazing meal. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember what it was. I was trying to think in the car. It's bloody lovely, though. Do you remember? <laughs> and you, Dom? I only wish I could look in the suit as good as you do, because these button bottoms are ready to pop at any single point. They are on fringe, fin stitches, geez. But no, honestly, the pair of you, you bring everyone that you come into the biggest joy. And with your baby daughter Mia now, what a family of three. And by the way, there should be a family of five. If Elmore Caught cool, were letting dolls, they'd have two little ones running around as well, you know what I mean? And they'd sort it out behind the bottom, they'd gone missing, hadn't they? You know what I mean? Yeah, but anyway, that's it from me. I'm not very good at this. I'm sorry if this ain't been as good as you thought. But I'm going to raise a toast. Can I just raise a toast to the newlyweds of Mr. and Mrs. Gate? The bridesmaids, Jacqueline, Georgina, Amy and Becca. What can I say, girls? You've really lit up the wedding today with your beauty. All of you, amazing. I speak on behalf of Maggie to thank you all for being there for her and supporting her. Amy and Becca, thanks for trying to settle Mags's nerves. A somewhat impossible task, but you had a go. <laughs> uh, Jacqueline, Georgina, you, you both know how important family is to me and to see your relationship with Maggie makes me so proud. I really appreciate it and so does Mags. So my final toast, I'd like to raise a toast to the bridesmaids. To the bridesmaids, cheers. Cheers, guys.
about the last five years when I first was introduced to Chris and Jenny and their, their children, it struck me immediately how this large, happy, functional family had, had embraced my daughter completely and utterly. Um, and that's what I think that Maggie had been missing in her life until then. So thank you, The Gapes. I've read my notes, I'm not going to add lib, that's when I get into dangerous, nasty situations. Thank you very much for listening. <laughs>